Hello everyone, good morning. It is Ruben here, back again with another Ruben report. This is going to be an update to my last video, uh, trying to do the um, valve adjustment check. So this is going to be part two. Uh, shout out to the CSC Service Center, uh, TK from the CSC Service Center and everyone within the CSC Motorcycle Owners Group on Facebook and also the CSC RX3, RX4, and RS6 motor, um, owners of USA Facebook group. I've gotten tons of comments, tons of tips and tricks and useful information to help me uh, get my motorcycle back up and running. So. Shout out to you guys. Thank you guys so much for all your input. Um, but yeah, let's get right to it. Um, so from the last video, uh, the unfortunate thing that happened was that, if you watched it, I dropped my gas tank. And with dropping my gas tank, I broke uh, the T-fitting on the fuel hose assembly. It was made out of plastic. I'll put a picture up of it right now so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, and with that being broken, um, fuel was just leaking everywhere. And talking with TK from CSC, he said that I could probably just find a, a replacement T brass, a brass T fitting, which I did. I found one at uh, AutoZone. Um, if you're looking, if you yourself are looking to probably upgrade or replace that T-fitting because it's plastic, upgrade it to a brass one. You're going to need one that is a 5 16 diameter. And for the clamps, I was going to go with the PEX clamps because that's what was originally on the bike. Uh, I ordered a kit from Amazon had it come in but the PEX clamps that came with it sadly didn't fit but no worries I went right back to AutoZone and instead I found this set of I'm not sure what they call them but it's it's a certain type of clamp it's kinda like a mixture between the worm style and the PEX style because of um, it's, it's structural integrity like it's a lot stronger than a worm clamp but not so overkill like a pex clamp and these are made specifically for fuel injection systems so i decided to give this a try and it was also a lot easier to work with these instead of trying to do the pex clamps because um i i had to kind of fit the orientation of the hoses before i put them back on and I, I, I sort of use the uh, diagram that's on the CSC's website to kind of orientate them, you know, originally. Probably put a picture of that up too. Okay. And after I did that, I went ahead and put them under the bike, attached everything back up, and we will see what kind of job I did under here. So, as you can see under here, all right, that's the new uh, upgraded fittings. Everything's orientated in the, in the right direction. And so, yeah, uh, now with everything hooked back up, gas isn't leaking, everything's fixed. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna have the moment of truth. Will she start? All right. Here we go, guys. Yeah, over over the past couple of days, my gas has been leaking out uh, nonstop, so I barely have any gas left, but we'll see. Here we go. I really hope this thing doesn't blow up. And there we go.
sounds nice. You guys can uh, hear it like I hear it, but the the valves they're a tiny, just a tiny bit of tapping. And um, reading the CSC website, you know they said tappy valves are happy valves, so I'm not concerned with that. Sounds great, everything works again. I'm glad I could put the bike all the, all the way back together again, and well, we'll go out for a ride. All right, I'm gonna put it back together again. And I'll get back with you guys. All right, putting the bike back together has proven to be uh, quite challenging and a little bit confusing. I kind of shot myself in the foot by not well in my first video by not uh, showing exactly which bolt goes to which fairing. So I'm gonna rectify that within this video, putting things back together. We're going to go step by step, bolt by bolt, we're going to figure it out together, all right? I think these ones go to these guys here. So I'm going to put them in and I'm going to see, all right? All right, so they went back on pretty well. So I think that those are the right bolts for the side tank fairings. All right. So the next fairing that we're going to put on will have to be uh, this one and put this one back together as well. And for these, well, let's see. Mm. All right, well, I'm going to try to figure it out and I'll, I'll be right back with y'all. Okay, I stand corrected. So we're not gonna put this one on first. We actually have to put the big ones on first. Um, after reviewing my old video, uh, this fairing actually screws into this fairing. So this one has to go on first. So I'm gonna try to get this on the bike and then um, trying to work back which screws go where. All right, I tried to sort the screws from, you know, smaller and larger ones. The small ones, they all look pretty much the same size, so uh, maybe you can just choose whatever screw you want, put it back on. Um, first things first, especially with the right side fairing, is when you put this guy on, we're going to make sure that we screw the coolant reservoir back on to the side here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right, guys, I got the right fairing back on. I'm going to walk you guys step by step which bolts to use. So the first bolt that you want to put back on in general is going to be the one that's under here. I, I tried to put it on in various different ways. If you don't put this one on first, this one, for some reason, always gets misaligned. So start with this one underneath here. It's just one of those small, the various small uh, Phillips head screws, and you'll be good to go. So I did this one first. It's a small Phillips head screw. Okay, from the ones that you have here. They're, they're pretty much all the same size. The next one that you want to do is this one, the hex key that's up top. And the hex key that you want to get is, it looks like this. Okay, it has a little plastic piece underneath. All right, so don't forget that. You put that in there. And then what you wanna do next, um, assuming that you've already put the coolant reservoir on as well. I mean, you do that first before you even start doing all this. Next one you wanna do is the one that's on the inside. Okay. All right. That one, as you saw, is this guy with the big metal washer okay and then you the rest you do the other hex key 
uh, screw that has the metal, I mean, uh, not the metal, but the plastic. Just like this again. And then you want to do this guy, which goes here. Inside here, there's ar there should be already a metal washer kind of attached to uh, the fairing. So that one doesn't need a, a washer. It are, there's already one there. You put, you put that in, and then the rest are just regular uh, Phillips head screws, which is just two more. So one here, and then one down there. Okay, so that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and put this panel on and then I'll figure out which screws we need. All right, so that fairing is now back on. Very easy. You use three more of the small Phillips screws. One goes underneath here. One goes here and it attaches to this to the other fairing. That's why we had to put this one on first. So it attaches to that fairing and then one goes there simple and if things change for the other side I'll document it if not I'll just put everything back together all right guys on the left side I got everything back together um, there was really no differences in between you know the left side and the right side so nothing to really document about that got the seat bolted back in uh, with this bracket you see how there's this little lip here? You want to make sure that that lip is facing this way. So when you put the rear seat on, the rear seat has this little thing on the end. And you want to make sure that that can catch underneath. All right, like so. Okay, and... Uh, <clears throat> gotta make sure things line up push everything back down there we go locked into place alright everything's back together finally back together okay well that's it guys thank you for watching my video on how to put everything back together. We finally did it. Got the valve check done. And again, huge shout out to folks at Customer Service at CSC for helping me out. And thanks, a, a big thank you to all you guys in the Facebook group who have gave me useful tips and tricks on how to fix my <laughs> broken fuel assembly. All right, so there's going to be a lot more videos to come. This isn't over. Um, got a, some more ideas. I mean, we, obviously, we got to see how fast this thing goes now. And uh, I might have a couple more um, upgrade ideas coming soon. All right, y'all. Have a great Sunday and be safe out there. She sure does sound nice now. Another bonus clip guys. I think my squeakiness went away. I'm bouncing. I don't know what did it. I ain't squeaking no more. <laughs>